Here's the issue your stranger wants to impose. Nobody else asked this question, it's important. Coronavirus, how do you protect yourself? Following the six foot rule, that means, according to my understanding, anybody that hacks or sneezes or even breathes, even in the, even in the uh, uh, expiration, The breathing out in that area can be contagious. How are you going to protect yourself from that kind of thing? There's so many discourteous bastards out there. Discourteous as hell. They'll hack. They'll sneeze right on you or in that vicinity. And I'll come to find out if you're in that six-foot perimeter. I said six foot. You can be infected they're con if they're contagious how do you protect yourself from that how do you protect yourself from the coronavirus assassin everybody's a potential coronavirus assassin in my opinion when they don't correctly effectively cover that cough keep that six foot distance respect their fellow social performer now, how are you going to enforce something like that? How many times you walk around and you're looking around your 300 kids and some clown passes right by. You didn't even see the clown and starts hacking, doesn't even cover the hack. Starts sneezing, doesn't cover the sneeze. How many times? You can't stop that form of contagion. No way. It's like a mafia hitman. The hitman has his target located. He's waiting. He knows sooner or later the target has to come out. He's got to come out of there sooner or later. He can't hide forever. You have to come out. How do you protect yourself from something like that? How do you answer to the gold hard questions? You can't protect yourself even just talking in that out of that six foot radius of contagion you go out there's always some idiot who's hacking doesn't cover it properly who's sneezing doesn't cover it properly and come to find out it's airborne within that six foot radius that circle you can be that coronavirus assassin that's what I call him or her you can be infected now how in the hell do you protect yourself from that unless you wear a mask nobody addresses that issue but your stranger goes right into it how do you protect yourself you have to come out sooner or later and that hack attack comes out of nowhere it comes out of nowhere when you least expect it. You've looked around. You're on the trolley. You're in a, a super, anywhere, in a mall, wherever you are. And you look around, try to keep that six-foot dis distance. Try to isolate yourself and protect yourself. That hacker comes out of nowhere like an invader. And hack right on you. Or hack into the vicinity. Or cover the hack improperly. That discourteous bastard who doesn't have any concern. I call him an animal. I call that, that idiot an animal. Disrespecting a man, hacking right on the, right on, you, or if you go to your gym, you go to your mall, you go shop, it can happen anywhere. Some idiots think they can, they're, they're protect you if they turn their head and hack that's what that's the issue I'm raising right now I've, I haven't heard it raised I haven't heard it addressed but I'm raising it right now communication is a very hard thing most people won't take the time we have cell phones most people won't take the time they want to communicate abbreviatedly they won't give the time. They won't take the time. They won't have the concern. 
Look, this problem is right in the face. They'll send a symbol, a communicator, a quick message. Now, what the hell is that? That doesn't replace the living voice. Everybody has five, ten minutes to give for decent communication. Everybody has, but everybody's busy. Everybody has that phony excuse. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. Each has their own. None has the time. If you need a hand, look to the end of your own arm. That's the only hand you'll ever get. Hominus lupus hominus. Man the wolf to man. There's no such thing as a common good. Although I support Bernie Sanders on principle, on character, but he's delusion. He's delusional. We live in a Trump world. I'm sorry to be the one to say it. It takes a lifetime to learn that. Winner take all. Winning's everything. Communicating with hyperbole. As long as you can walk the communication back, you can mitigate. And you have good spin doctors who spin you out of everything. People have the attention span of a gnat. That's why if you want to win, if you want to communicate, hit him hard, hit him briefly. Be brief. Hit the symbols, work the symbols. Throw the red meat. Work to the true believer. I challenge anybody to contest what I'm saying right now.